Okay, so this apron that is mentioned in Isaiah 3 is also a reference to Genesis 3, where it says, The appearance of them both blossomed, and the fig branch was sewn together. So um, it's talking about the humans and the Isha here after they start using the technology that makes them appear beautiful. It says their, their appearance blossomed, and the fig branch was sewn together. That's Israel. We talk about that in the video on the body snatchers in the Bible. It's below. And then it says they made themselves 2290, which means apron or armor. So when they started using this technology that changed their appearance and made them beautiful, they made themselves aprons or armor. So again, it's talking about a covering over their whole body. And this word 2290 is used again in Isaiah right here, 2290. Apron or armor. So they made this armor in the story of Genesis that disguises their appearance. And then in Isaiah, it says that at the day of the Lord, that armor will be taken away, that covering. Okay, and then the other reason this apron thing is interesting because is because it may refer to the secret societies like the Masons who traditionally wear an apron. And um, supposedly George Washington was a Mason, as you can see here, this drawing of him wearing the apron. And um, I guess John Wayne was a Mason. And Harry Truman, I guess the astronaut, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong, etc. I mean, I guess this is a list of famous people that are supposedly Masons. I mean, I don't know how accurate this is, but um, like Walt Disney is right here. So, um, but I, it's pretty much, um, I think, well known, at least at this point in history, that the Masons are very influential in our society. So, that may be what this apron is, reference is is referring to. I mean, because they are very influential. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. And then it also mentions the signet ring of authority. It says the signet ring of authority has something to do with, with all of this. And, and, um, the Masons also are known for their signet ring, which many influential people have been accused of wearing. So, um, so I just kind of wanted to point that out. Maybe that has something to do with it, but this is where it gets really deep because, um, at first I, I was trying to figure out, okay, why would a ring have anything to do with appearance? I mean, it, it clearly says that it says, the countenance ring, which, which does refer to appearance. So the first thing that I did was I, I looked to see if there were any other stories in the Bible about a ring and a covering. And there are a few. And the main one that I found was in the story of Joseph. Joseph. So in Genesis 41, we're told that the Pharaoh of Egypt gave his ring to Joseph and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and this word translated as vestures which is number 899 it means garment but it also means treachery or deceit so again we have this connection between a garment that they use which is their means of deception so I thought that was really interesting. That's in the story of Joseph. Okay, but the other thing about Joseph is that in Genesis 37, his father, Israel, or Jacob, makes him a coat of many colors. 
And at first glance, you think, what's the big deal? His dad gave him a coat that was colorful. I mean, why was that such a huge deal? Why did they have to make a point of of telling us about that? Why did it, why do why were all of his brothers so jealous about just a colorful coat? And then it hit me. I was kind of looking at this musical, this Andrew Lloyd Webber musical, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. I mean, it was actually a musical made about this story of Joseph being given this this colorful coat. And I'm kind of looking at that and I'm thinking, you know, what's the big deal about this? I mean, I guess they called the musical, I guess they call it the dream coat because Joseph was always interpreting dreams, but I'm not sure why they call it the Technicolor dream coat um I mean it says many colors I don't know where they get the technicolor from but the point is the story's kind of odd I mean it seems like there's something else going on there and then it hit me that color when it says the coat of many colors it's referring to the light spectrum so again and again in the text we have these references to light I don't know if you've noticed that. So like, remember it says Satan will appear as an angel of light. And that doesn't refer to just one person because we've proved that. It refers to more than one. It's talking about they, them, you know. Um, the Satan is, is a group of non-humans. And it says they appear as angels of light. And I, we talk about that in the video on the dragon, the beast, and the harem. If you want to check that out, it's linked below. Um, but then it's also talking about how they use this technology that, that changes their appearance and makes them beautiful. Well, the, it deceives human eyes. Well, what do human eyes detect? Light. So it, it just again and again is saying in all these different ways, that it's a light technology that they use and that's their main means of deception. And now we see in the story of Joseph um, that again it's talking about a garment that is a coat of colors which refers to light. In other words, the text is telling us that Joseph was given a coat of light. So it's, it's the technology. It's basically telling us right here that Joseph was given that technology. Um, the coat of light. And that's why it was so important to mention. But then um, in Genesis 41, it says he was also given a ring and arrayed in the deceptive garment. Remember that word means deceptive and garment. So he was given a ring with that. Um, so a, the ring has something to do with this technology that, that both the humans and the Isha are using. Because it says here the countenance ring in Isaiah 3. And that's in the context of the changeable suits of apparel, the covering membrane, and the cloak. So there's no question the Lord is saying here that their deceitful cloaking technology will be taken away. Um, and this ring has something to do with it. And then the ring and the, and the garment is also mentioned in a story in Luke 15. And I thought this was interesting because it's the story of a son who was dead but is now alive. So it says he's given the best robe and a ring to put on his hand. And it says twice in the story that he was dead and now is alive. So we talk about this more in, again, the video on the video called Body Snatchers in the Bible. Because it's a concept that appears elsewhere in the Bible. It seems to be telling us that they can use this technology not only to make themselves appear more beautiful, but also to use the appearance of someone who's dead. So that's obviously why I named the video Body Snatchers in the Bible, because it seems to be saying that the Nephilim are impersonating dead people in addition to just disguising their real appearance. 
Um, but the ring is all, that's what this seems to be confirming as well. Um, the ring, you know, the brother was dead and now is alive and is wearing a robe and a ring. So again, that robe and the ring, we keep, it, it, it connects to the cloak and the, and the changeable suits of apparel, etc. Um, Okay, so I'm I'm thinking, what does the, what does a ring have to do with image technology or light technology? And my first thought was, well, maybe this ring emits a magnetic field that envelops the person's body or something like that. So, I googled electromagnetic field and ring, and I found out that an electromagnetic field itself is shaped like a ring, apparently. So, and I, I mean, even the Earth's magnetic field itself is shaped like a ring. So this ring that the texts refer to that has something to do with the image technology, the cloak, it may refer to the magnetic field that they're using. So this seems to be the cloak that they're speaking of, that special garment, the deceitful covering that uses light to fool human eyes into thinking that they're perceiving something beautiful. It's the coat of many colors that was so valuable, valuable the coat of light, the ring of light the ring of an electromagnetic field around the body. So it's some kind of really high tech um, or advanced technology. And it's amazing to me also that these ideas that are in the Bible that we're discovering are everywhere throughout movies and television. I'm almost starting to think that the movie makers get their best ideas from the Bible because check this out the changeable suits of apparel right here in Isaiah 322 um, it's in the movie a scanner darkly it's this suit that he wears called a scramble suit and it's made up of 1.5 million images of men women and children they say so basically it's this disguise that humans are not able to discern um, and in that movie there's this one scene where they look like they actually look like locusts and notice the sign back here it says june of 44 and that blew my mind because that's right around the time mentioned in the bible it says the fig tree sprung forth when they started using the technology and the fig tree is israel which became a nation in 1947 by the un which came into existence in 1945 but was in the beginning stages in 1944 so that, that kind of blew me away. Um, it, so it seems like the, the people that make these movies, they actually already know all of this, what all of this means in the Bible. That's where they're getting their ideas. I mean, um, the title of this movie, A Scanner Darkly, actually comes from First Cor I'm sorry, First Corinthians 13, 12, which says we see through a glass darkly. So... I don't know, that, that blew my mind. And then the signet ring is also in the movie Gatsby, the recent one, the 2013 version. So I can't put these clips on YouTube, but um, check the links below because as soon as I get this video up, I'm having problems with my software right now, but as soon as I get the video up, I'll link it below. But it, in the movie Gatsby, they show this ring. And um, right here again, this is another clip of it. And they don't really say what it is, but this old man shows up and says Gatsby doesn't really exist, that it's all part of an elaborate disguise, that Gatsby appears to everyone as someone different. I mean, it's just, it's really bizarre. And then obviously the movie, The Lord of the Rings, seems to tie into all this as well. So um, anyway, I'm out of time. So if you want more information, check the links below this video. Just click on show more below and there's a ton of links down there. Um, 
So um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's supporting this. If you do appreciate this information, I hope you'll consider supporting the work. The link is below because I can't do this without your help. So thanks so much. Bye-bye.